So I had a large order come in and I was really getting tired of switching my O2 nozzles and my O4 nozzles. I have some little tiny pieces on these truck beds. I need to print like the tail lights and the ATE as well as another bed I'm currently modeling has a bunch of little pieces. And so I decided to do something about it. I went out yesterday and bought a Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. And today we are going to be setting it up, testing it out and trying it out with an O2 nozzle. Before we do that, we need to make space on our print bench. So let's go ahead, get this cleaned up and then get the new A1 out of the box. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this A1 out of the box and set up. Look at the tiny little build plate. That's <laughs> so cute. So I don't know what happened, but my microphone stopped working, so I had no mic at all when I was setting this up, but I got it set up. My husband did come help me because I was struggling a little bit. I will admit, I did struggle there for just a minute, but we got through it, <laughs> and it's up and it's running. It has the O2 nozzle in it now. This Benchy was printed with an O4 nozzle. I went ahead and said it looks great. There's no issues. I swapped over to an O2. I didn't print a Benchy with an O2 just because I wanted to strictly get in to start printing, and I already printed this ATE for the back of this truck bed, which turned out really well and down with my other two printers here at the end. Indy as well as the X1 are printing truck beds right now and it looks like the mini just finished up. So we have, I named this one Iris. So we have Iris, Ivy, Indy, and then the X1. So I'm sticking with the I names. <laughs> but it is done. So we're gonna take this off the bill plate, see if it fits, and if it does, we will print the rest of the red lights, and then we'll print the white lights. I'm gonna do my best in hopes that you see this, but I can't promise anything. So red's supposed to go on the outside, and let's see. Nope, it's too big. So when it's too big, we crack out our Digital calipers, I love these, they're a lifesaver. And I go ahead, turn them on. We gotta do this really fast before they die again. Four point three. By nine point nine point five. 4.3, 9.5. So I just pulled this off the build plate. It's a little tiny light, and we're gonna see if it fits. And if it fits, then I can go ahead, print the other red light and then the two white lights. And these are different size than the head rack lights, so we will get to that next. Beautiful. It just clicked right in there, look at that. Perfect. Look at that. That looks so good. Okay, so now I'm going to go print the other red one and then the two white ones, and then I will move on to these. And then I will wait for the other truck beds to finish, get the ATE printed, as well as more lights. Okay, so take away from this video always have extra batteries for your digital calipers. Always have needle nose pliers and buy another printer. <laughs>
buy that 3D printer because I now have four and I'm working on getting my fifth one and I'm just super excited and I'm so happy that I'm able to grow and make awesome things and share it with everybody. So, hope you all have a great day, great evening, wherever you may be, and happy 3D printing.